Hey, it's Coach Miller again from B2B Lax. What I want to talk about in this video is, you know, as a parent specifically, how do I know where my kid's at from a skill standpoint? Whether, whatever age that may be. And, you know, we talk to, I talk to parents all the time um, of these, you know, these lacrosse parents and they're just worried about, is my kid as developed as he should be? Or, you know, should he be doing more? Or where exactly does he stand in the grand scheme of things? Um, so parents are concerned, you know? So what I can say is, you know, first and foremost is whether you're a college coach a high school coach or whatever it may be, they're evaluating these players amongst their peers. So if your kid is, you know, in fourth grade, you should be comparing your kid amongst fourth graders, okay? If he's in ninth grade, you should be comparing him against ninth graders. So, because there's a big difference between fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. So if, you know, you're on a travel team that has, you know, fourth and fifth graders and the fifth graders are just bigger, faster, stronger than the fourth graders, that's fine. Like just focus on what he's compared to the fourth graders, okay? So especially, you know, this day and age with all like the early recruiting and in college and whatnot, you know, there's certain freshmen in high schools that are committing to these big time programs. And what those coaches are looking at is, uh, how does that freshman in high school compare to the other freshmen in high schools, you know, that he's competing against? So. With that being said, you know, if you're doing that and your kid, you know, is in the middle or, you know, towards the top or maybe a little below average, then that's what you should focus on. It's like, okay, for example, Johnny is a below average player amongst his classmates who are in fourth grade. Okay, great. Well, at least we know that now. We've done the analysis and we know where he stands. So what can happen then to help Johnny become a better lacrosse player? Well, you know, those are all the elements of the process of becoming a better lacrosse player that, you know, us at BTB Lax have, you know, made tons of products that help kids like go through that process of, you know, working on their stick skills, becoming, you know, a more reliable handler, you know, being able to shoot better, being able to, you know, throw and catch better, whatever it may be. Like the process is, you know, takes time. So you evaluate amongst your peers and then you start working on those things. You know, you listen to your coaches, you play, you know, you get out there, you compete, you start doing those things to that eventually, you know, with that, you know, the process and the way it goes, you'll improve and you'll get better. And, you know, eventually if you're dedicated to it, you, you know, become that below average player to average player. And then by the time you get Johnny gets to high school, he might be one of the better players on his team, you know, cause he's been focused that whole time. He's been putting in the work and that's the way it goes. So there's no, you know, magic wand or anything like that. If you know, if you're worried about where your kid's at, evaluate him amongst your peer, amongst his peers, and then take the next step and go from there. And you know, proceed with whatever training you feel fit, or whatever the coaches recommend. You know, whatever, uh, whatever it may be to help you know him become a better player. So with Coach Miller from B2B Lax, we'll see you in other videos. Hey, Coach Miller here, and I want to talk to you for a minute because I've got a question for you. Why are you still here? And what I mean by that is, why are you still here on YouTube looking up lacrosse videos? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you're looking for those tips, tricks, drills, and advice because you want to take your game to the next level. And I think that's pretty awesome, actually, that you're not on the field right now or in the gym, but instead you're at home on your computer or tablet looking up how to get better at a sport that I love, and you're doing it on your own time. It tells me that you love the game too, and you're probably pretty passionate about getting better. Well, I want you to watch something, because I think it'll be right up your alley. We spent a whole day with Mike Kimmel, an absolute beast of a lacrosse player, a college All-American at Hopkins, and a multiple MLL All-Star. And we worked on putting together a completely free three-part training series for youth and high school players just like you. Because here's the thing. And don't get me wrong, I love YouTube, and here at BTB we have a big YouTube channel with a ton of videos and whatnot because we want people to see it and improve. But a big problem with YouTube and with what you're doing right now, searching for videos just like the one you watched, is that it's unfocused. It's like you get this one tip or trick or fix or whatever it is. And I'll be honest with you, what you really should be doing is zeroing in on the two things that a lot of big time players just like Mike say are the two specific things that are really holding kids back from playing at their next level. Your offhand and your off ball play. 
Once you've got full confidence in your offhand, it opens up the entire field for you and effectively doubles your options, whether the ball's in your stick or not. In your off-ball play, well, I can tell you that for about 90% of the time in a game, you don't have the ball. But the impact you can have on a game by making the right moves and decisions off-ball is staggering. So when I said earlier that we worked with Mike for a full day on the training series, that's what we focused on, like a laser. If you go through this free training, you're going to see the results right away. Trust me, thousands of kids have already gone through it, and that's the feedback we've gotten. Game changing. So, tell you what, stop browsing YouTube for the next 15 minutes, and right now go watch the first video in our three-part free training series with Mike Kimmel. Down below there's a link in the description of this video that will take you straight to a page where you just enter your email and will instantly send you the first training. We'll send you the next two pieces over the next couple days. Can't wait to see you on the inside. Have a good one.